Hey everybody, hope you're all having a good day. What I want to talk about here is um, some reloading stuff and how to make it turnkey, hopefully to help save other people some time. I got the idea of this video when I was online this morning um, looking up some 224 bullets to buy uh, because I ran out of bullets. <laughs> I ran out of bullets for my rounds. Um, little update with the press. Um, I got I bought a thousand of these primers. I only have this pack left. So I made 900 rounds so far. Pretty awesome. Only a couple months. Um, but anyway, when looking at these bullets, uh, the Hornadays were sold out on Midway. They were, you know, they were on some websites. Some other websites only had Arms Corps or Berries or Sierra or Remington. And they all have different ratings. All the bullets, some people say, hey, this one bullet shot a one-inch group, but then I tried this other um, brand of bullet and it shot a five-inch group. Or these bullets sometimes drop uh, through the neck of, the, of my casing all the way down to the powder. And it just irritates me that it's all different, which is normal. I know it's stupid to be irritated by that, but it's just like you have to be so careful and conscious when reloading that I just wish there was something where I could just go out Find 55 grain bullets, and they all shoot the same. You know, I wish you could do that, but you can't. And that's one small part of the reloading, not problem, but the reloading effort. Um, so to make it easier for people, more turnkey, for them to put in less time and effort and trial and error, really, um, I want to make this video, and hopefully it can help them. So... I want to post the results of exactly what I have and what I've done so they can say, okay, hey, those results are good for me, so this is what I'll use. Because we can all read reviews, we can all read online, but sometimes it's choppy at best. Sometimes you can't really believe certain things you read or see, so uh, here you go. I mean, this is truth. So what we're going to start with? I have a Rebel Arms RBR-15. What's important there is I have a 16 inch one in nine twist barrel that's chrome lined. Okay, so 16 inch chrome lined barrel, one in nine twist. Standard barrel, I think it's your regular M4 profile. Hard to see under the railing, but it's nothing special. It's probably the least special thing on this entire firearm. What's next? Um, I'm using these Berries manufacturing bullets. I got them bulk, and they are. 224, 55 grain, full metal jacket bow tail. All right, the 224 is the diameter of the bullet. 55 grain, full metal jacket bow tail, okay? Um, next, these are, come on, there you go. CCI small rifle primers, number 400. All right, it's pretty self-explanatory. One primer, one round. Uh, next thing is the powder. Hodgkin H335. Did some research, read good stuff about it. Uh, it was available at my local store, so if you saw my other videos, I got five pounds of it. Uh, and he stocks that, so I should be able to get more of this. But I used 22.3 grains of that powder, as I denote it right there. Kind of funny. It's a 2-2-3 round. I used 22.3 grains of powder. Um, regardless. But anyway, using those those numbers, or those components, 16-inch chrome-lined 1-9 twist barrel. Berries 55 grain, full metal jacket, bow tail bullets, CCI small rifle primers, 22.3 grains of H335. At 100 yards off a cheap bipod on a slick bench, I got one and a half MOA results. Uh, if you take the one on the far left away, one MOA, sub one MOA. So those results are fantastic for me. I love plink and steel standing up and shooting. I'm not as big of a, you know, let me just put this thing on a bipod and a bench. Um, so those results, fantastic for me. If those are great, if those are acceptable results for you, here you go. Here's the situation. 16 inch, one and nine chrome line barrel, 55 grain, full metal jacket, bow tail bullet, small rifle primer, H335, 22.3 grains. All right. Of the things that you can interchange here, let's say you can't find it. It's not accessible to you. Um, small rifle primers. Do they have to be CCI? No. From what I hear, interchangeable unless you're shooting max distances whether you cci winchester whatever fairly interchangeable uh, and you're not really going to notice a difference 
also interchangeable, those Barry's bullets. Uh, from what I'm told, they are very, very similar to the Hornaday ones. Obviously, they both have to be 55 grain, full metal jacket boat tail, but I hear they are very similar and interchangeable. So, there you go, there you go, guys. Hopefully, this was helpful and useful. Um, I'm absolutely loving reloading. I'm addicted to it. It's soothing, it's calming, it's meditative, and then I get to go have fun with it. It's fantastic. Oh, and by the way, I got a Browning High Power. Ha 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 ha. I love it. So, that's basically it, guys. Um, and yeah, you know what? I love reloading because when I'm doing it, while I'm working out in the morning or something like that, or at night after work, I am literally making fun. You, not fun, of, I'm literally making my own fun for the weekend. I'm making fun. I am manufacturing fun, which is pretty awesome to do. So, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.